Welcome DIY friends to another DIY video by me Shanetta. I am showing you how I redid my kitchen cabinets and this is an awesome DIY. I am so excited about how it looked. This is me showing you the great feature that my Ry Ryobi um, handheld had with magnets to hold all of my screws. I initially did all of my cabinets. These are the ones above the actual refrigerator and I primed around the doors and now I am taking the doors off and priming those areas that I missed. Making sure to stress, priming is always key to making sure you have durable cabinets or anything you want to prime. And I know a lot of things you will buy that says, oh, you don't need to prime. Don't listen to them. Get you some primer. And any type of brush will be perfectly fine for starting off your cabinet renovation. Also wanting to make sure to let you know that it's always important to prime all areas, even areas you may not be able to see because you have appliances there. A refrigerator is so easy to move most times, just slide it on out and do those areas and underneath the cabinets as well. Also, I know some people like to paint around or paint over their actual hardware, but take those off. It makes the actual end product look so much better and you actually have a more flawless look and it's so simple and easy. I am deciding to reuse my actual door hinges that open and close, but I'm going to change out the actual pull knobs. So I have a plastic bag to keep all my hinges in one and I'm going to be donating the actual pulls to our local Habitat for Humanity so they can use those for another house or whatnot. I do not like to throw away things that can be used for other people. If your cabinet comes with these bumpers, just take them off. Mine are so old, it just slid right on off. Um, you may have to use a putty knife to get those from Dollar Tree and just scrape them off, no issue at all. Um, and then I already deglossed my actual cabinet top. I'm just getting a, a wet cloth and just going over it to remove all the dust before I start to actually prime. Here is the deglosser I chose to use for my cabinets. Again, this is totally optional for you. I just decided to make sure that my prep was like a thousand times more than what it needs to be because I do not want to take all this stuff off and do it all over again. So this is already one coat of primer using my brush for the actual base cabinet. So I am applying a second coat now for the base cabinet. And I also took off the drawers. So make sure you take these out of the cabinet. It makes it so much easier to paint when you have them off the cabinet and this is a second coat going on those as well my actual doors for the cabinet as well came off and I already primed both sides so now they're just sitting on top of something to actually dry this is the primer I chose to use I love this primer so much and this is the second type of primer I use because the first type I bought little quartz and that was not enough. So I went back and got a whole gallon and this one um, worked just as good as the first one did and it was easy and you can tint it to be a color if you're actually putting the actual color on your cabinets besides white. So now I am going ahead and applying my first top coat of white paint and I believe in thin to win I've heard this so much when I'm watching these videos from this one guy thin to win is the way to go you're applying thin coats multiple times to achieve a great flawless look throwing a bunch of heavy coats will end up with nothing but drips and issues and peeling down the road it is a lot of time that goes into applying multiple coats but I took literally three days to finish this little kitchen because I had so many distractions and it was so irritating to me but you have to understand that if you really want to have a great outcome a wonderful end result taking the time to do it right the first time will leave you without a headache down the road when you have to do it all over again Now it's time to paint the actual doors to the kitchen cabinet. I have a little trick of putting the cabinet door on top of a flat surface like a can or a bottle or something so you can easily maneuver the door left and right while you are painting it. The first way I'm going to show you is how to paint the door using a paintbrush. Many times paintbrushes will leave streaks because of the actual bristles. No matter what kind of brush you get, you will see streaks and I've 
found that out by working at Sherman Williams and also just looking at a lot of different actual videos as well. But trying it thin to win, once again, moving it with um, the same direction back and forth will eliminate a lot of the streaks um, and having a great paint with self-leveling technology inside of it will also help you minimize those streaks. But when an area is already dry, do not go over it again. You will just enhance the streaks inside of your actual paint. So just leave it there and move on. You always have another coat. Now we're going to show you how to do it using an actual spray gun. I am using the Titan spray gun, but any spray gun will probably provide the same, same result. And you want to make sure you are not so close that you will put too much product on top of your door. And this will allow it to have like a factory like finish. And I prefer to actually have my door sprayed with a spray gun because you saw a lot of streaks in the primer when it was applied with the actual brush and also with the top coat. And this way for me, I actually went back and did the other second coat of the first door that you saw and with a actual spray gun use it gives you so much product but in a flawless way that you typically sometimes only need to do one base coat when you are applying it versus going back with a brush or roller two or three times And this is the paint I decided to use for my cabinet doors in my kitchen, which is a Pro Classic by Sherwin Williams Semi Gloss Acrylic Latex. And I love this because it has acrylic inside of it, which makes everything so much more durable in the color pure white. Now I am painting the pool drawers from out of my bathroom cabinet. The first way I'm using a standard little roller and I am wanting to try this product I found in Dollar Tree which is this handheld device that you can actually put paint in and squeeze out as you go which saves time if I don't have to keep on rolling paint onto your actual roller head. And I tried it but I don't... I don't know I didn't like it too much you know um, the end result as you will see didn't apply maybe it's just user error it just didn't have enough paint on there and by the actual roller being so small I had to do a lot more work than having to use that one roller that was a lot more wider it covered much more real estate much more faster and it applied a much heavier coat um, I think I have to really get familiar with this device to use it again and this is my actual bathroom that I'll be renovating so make sure you subscribe so you can see all the actual updates I'm doing in this video and to see the final product I will be using different pulls for my doors from cabinets in the kitchen and this is what I got from Amazon and this is the finished result. I love the way this came out and I'm so happy I took the time to actually degloss, prime, and apply the top coat by taking those extra moments to just step back, let everything dry completely, and I am so happy. Thank you guys for viewing my video. Your views are greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or if you like my video, give me a thumbs up or a comment. Have a great one.